Hey, tell me your name and where you're from. My name is Cameron Adcock, and I'm from Sparta, Tennessee. Okay, uh, how'd you get into art? Uh, I got into the art when I was little. I used to draw all the time, and then I got more into it as I went from elementary school to middle school to high school and taking more art classes throughout my high school career. Was anybody in your family artistic before you? Uh, I have a cousin on my mom's side who um, does pencil drawings and tattoos and paints. So when were when did you get more serious into art? Like whenever you started selling it and you realized that you were decently good at it? Um, and about midway through high school or in my sophomore year, I started selling my paintings on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and it kind of took off and that made me pursue a career in it. You do a lot of the uh, barn quilts. Uh, how'd you get started on that? Uh, I was, one summer I was trying to find a way to make some money and I noticed that nowhere, no one around here made barn quilts for barns. And I was like, I'm gonna learn that to sell them because it's a good market and I, I took off. I've sold a lot over the years. Do you think that um, just it being popular or uh, do you have anybody that used to quilt in your family that you got some of the patterns from? Um, so both of my grannies on both sides of my family quilted for years and I've inherited so many quilts and I just love the patterns of them and uh, the bright colors and the different designs and that's what I wanted to put into my work is bright colors like that. Does anybody ever give you like a quilt that their grandparents made uh, to like do the same uh, pattern design. off of? I have pictures. People send send pictures of the design they want from like a great like they're in a quilt they've inherited over the years and just stuff like that. Um, did you know about the Appalachian uh, Quilt Trail? Did any of your clients uh, do you know if they're involved in that? Uh, no, I've never heard of it until you told me. Okay. Um, what about the other paintings that you uh, do, like the landscapes? You do a lot of rivers, uh, waterfalls, and mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, what draws you to paint these? Is it you growing up there, or you just like either just easier? Um, I'm more. I'm really outdoors person. So when I'm sitting inside, I rather paint something outside. And there's so much nature around where we live in Tennessee that I just want to capture that into paintings such as like waterfalls. There's so many around here, like Fall Creek Falls, Lost Creek. What does being an artist that's from Appalachia mean to you? Oh, good question. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> what does, be, what does being an artist from Appalachia mean to you? Like whenever you tell somebody that you're an artist and like it's your family or someone around, does it make a difference because you aren't from a city type thing? Do you think they yeah, take they, you on a different level of seriousness? Yeah, because in today's modern world, there's two types of artists. There's modern art, big city kind of art, and then there's your backwoods, you know, barn paintings and, you know, just fields, cows, anything kind of farm life. There's more of an aesthetic to that. There's different styles and they're completely different. And I, people don't realize that. Do you think that people take you less serious because you are from um, yes. where Small you are? Town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you really can't make it around here doing that kind of work. And, um, but it's popular and a lot of people like that kind of painting. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of hard to make a living off of it. Uh, what brings you the most joy about being an artist? Um, the freedom to do what you want, to paint what you want, and um, your own hours, working from home, the flexibility of it all. What, would, what advice would you give someone who's up and coming from this area? Um, I would tell them to, once you're even, like, while you're struggling, keep pursuing it. <laughs> Because it will be tough at some times. Okay. Um, and to uh, push your art. Don't hide it like my, my cousin done. He don't push his artwork and he could have been really popular at it and made a lot of money doing it. So what's your favorite piece? 
Uh, my favorite work so far is one that I done last a couple years ago. It's of a waterfall. It's an oil painting, and uh, it's from Lost Creek Falls in Sparta. That's probably one of my more accomplished paintings. Okay. Well, thank you very much.